realized I wanted to be a musician, I think pretty much like everyone else does, really early on, by the age of 11, I had been singing for weddings and quinceañeras and funerals and all that kind of thing. So I would stand in front of the mirror with a tennis racket, literally, and a hairbrush, and I'd be singing. I, I just got this excitement about the energy from the music. Then by the time that I went to high school, I practiced really hard and I, I, I was very disciplined for some strange reason, I don't know. The instructors there at the high school band department, they said, have you ever thought of doing this as a profession? I would say that my style of music is uh, kind of, you know, what, what I would call Southwest Americana. In other words, I really draw from the Southwest where I've always lived for the most part. It incorporates and fuses Native American music as a Native American flutes, drums. I do a lot of storytelling. I do a lot of uh, creation stories and that kind of thing. But then I also fuse it with some instruments like the, these things called the hand pans that are really pretty incredible. They're new instruments. They've only been, been around about the, since the year 2000. <laughs> My favorite instrument is definitely my voice, just because it's the most unadorned and the most expressive and the most pure in, in the sense that it connects directly to your breath and to your emotion. So you have to be in a really calm state to deliver something really good. And during my shows, I sing a lot in a cappella without instruments, and I find that that's people come to me afterwards and say that was the most touching part and like well why do you bring all these instruments you know <laughs> my music comes to me in so many different ways sometimes i'll just be walking and i'll hear a bird or i'll hear a, i'll hear a certain rhythm of my of my footfalls that'll get me going sometimes i'll be driving across the country and a melody just comes to me out of nowhere or a certain lyric or i'll, I'll be in a coffee shop and i'll overhear a conversation and i'll go oh that would make a great song you know the music doesn't come first or the words don't come first or the melody, they all just kind of randomly happen and some, sometimes I'm lucky when they stick to me. I was featured for the first music spotlight on KRWG. I was really honored, I was really touched by that. The other side I was thinking, I'm the first one, uh-oh. <laughs> we work out the kinks yet, but it was beautiful. It was a great experience. The footage I came away with that was just luscious and beautiful and I appreciate what KRWG does. I really feel that Las Cruces and the Mesilla Valley has incredible musicians. We're blessed with some just world-class people. So thank you, you know, for, for helping us out and for saying, look, we have it. We're, it's not just in Albuquerque and Santa Fe, you know. My takeaway from being a musician is that music bypasses our critical brain and our thinking brain. It goes immediately to, to some part of here some emotional center that, that we all have. The best place to hear my music is to come to my shows because there's nothing like a live show. That energy, um, that, that exchange like I was telling you about, is it's, it's real, it's measurable, and it's palpable. And if you can't do that, you can go to my website, randygranger.net. There's links to all the places you can buy. You can buy it from me directly or from my fulfillment center, or you can go to iTunes, you can go to CD Baby, Amazon, but you can also go to Spotify, and I'm on Pandora. I'd say however way that you find to listen to my music and to you know, download it is, 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 is fine with me. It's all good. You know, thank you for the, for the people who take a chance on new music that, that they've never heard or an artist that they've never heard. It's really easy to get in our ruts of we only listen to this style. You know, I only like 80s music. I only like 70s music. I only like 60s music. It's all related. There's only so many notes you can have. There's only, only so many chord changes and chord progressions. It's the emotion and the intention that the artist is putting behind it that you're going to respond to mostly. So uh, really, I just want to say thank you. Th thank you for listening.